Welcome to 4029 Sports. I'm Alex Wilson. It was an ugly one today at Razorback Stadium as the Hogs lost to the University of North Texas Mean Green 44 to 17. There were a lot of things wrong today from top to bottom, including special teams as the North Texas punt returner would fake a fair catch here, wait a second for the defenders to walk by and then take off up the sideline. He would end up going all the way for 90 yards for the touchdown and that would put the Mean Green up 14 to nothing in the first quarter. Now the Hogs just would not be able to respond until the second quarter. Here you can see Cole Kelly would push his way through from five yards out to crack the goose egg and make it 17 to seven. The Hogs offense would essentially just disappear from there until the fourth quarter, but it was too far gone by then. Sports director Mitch Roberts was at the game this afternoon. As he talked about a little bit earlier, the Hogs were not afraid to stand up for their quarterback despite the disappointing day. Certainly a disappointing game from the get go for the Razorbacks. They fell behind early against North Texas and Cole Kelly had probably his worst game ever as a Razorback. Four interceptions, a couple more that should have been interceptions and several throws, miscommunications with his receivers that were nowhere near their target. And yet Coach Morris stayed with him because he said he wanted to give the game to Cole Kelly. And then by the time it was out of hand, he didn't want to bring Ty Story in for mop up duty. See if he could not rally us back. We, 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 you know, we got in there at halftime, had some good adjustments and, and talked and, and um, let him know that, hey, look, we're going right back with you. Um, and the game situation and circumstances and with, with the interception and them going down and scoring. When you come out of the locker room at this, in the second half and your starting quarterback is getting booed by the home team, you know, how is, when is that right? As you can tell from the tone of Jared Cornelius voice, he is very upset about hog fans booing the starting quarterback while at home. He understands they're upset. He understands that it wasn't a good effort by Cole or anybody on the Razorbacks team, but booing a Razorback at home is something that he doesn't find acceptable. And I don't either. Reporting from Razorback Stadium, Mitch Roberts, 4029 Sports. As Mitch mentioned earlier in the show, the Hogs will kick off conference play against Auburn next Saturday. The exact kickoff time has not been set yet, but the earliest that that game will start is 6 o'clock next weekend. And around the SEC, the Hogs' next opponent, as we just mentioned, the Auburn Tigers lost to LSU 22-21 with a last-second field goal to take that game away. And the top-ranked Crimson Tide took on the Ole Miss Rebels, and it was even uglier than it was here in Fayetteville. The Tide cruises by with a 62-7 final score. And the Sooners traveled to Ames, Iowa for their first conference matchup of the season. Near the end of the first quarter, Kyler Murray would find Marquise Brown for the 75-yard touchdown, putting Oklahoma up 10 to nothing. In the second quarter, the Cyclones would respond. Here you can see Zeb Nolan is about to hit Hakeem Butler. He'll grab this one, push one defender off, take a little bit of a run and push another one off and just keep going all the way to the end zone, tying it up at 10. At the end of the first half, Murray would get this one to Miles Tease from seven yards out to take a 24 to 10 lead into the locker room. And Iowa State would make it a one possession game in the fourth, but that was as close as they would get as the Sooners win 37 to 27. Next Saturday, the Sooners host the Army Knights and 429 News will be right back. The MLB is getting closer and closer to the playoffs, and one local favorite is just teetering on the edge of a wild card spot. In St. Louis today, the Cardinals are battling to hold on to that second wild card spot behind the Milwaukee Brewers, but the Dodgers had other plans. One Dodger in particular, as Yasiel Puig had three home runs today, one solo shot and a pair of three run homers, and Puig scored seven of the Dodgers' 17 runs at Bush Stadium today, and the Cardinals just didn't have a response. Patrick Wisdom would hit a grand slam in the fourth, but that was all the offense they would get. So the Cardinals dropped their fourth game in a row, and the Dodgers swiped that second wild card spot right out of their hands. And the Redbirds host the Dodgers again tomorrow before heading to Atlanta on Monday. Meanwhile, the Cubs led, lead the Brewers in the NL Central by just a game and a half. Chicago beat Cincinnati today, and Milwaukee lost to the Pittsburgh Pirates. For now, send it back to Allison.